Today's topic is a hot topic in 2023, and I'm quite comfortable to predict it will also be very popular in 2024. I'm talking about hero grids, and today we're going to be looking at hero grids with a couple of examples, why it's such an effective use of space. Also, we're going to have a go at creating a hero grid using the Hostinger website builder. And the great news is it's really easy to put together. So let's kick things off with explaining what a hero grid is. It's a traditional hero unit, which is the section, the banner that sits at the top of your website, very much like an inner city billboard or a roadside billboard where you only have a couple of seconds to get the information to sink in. The difference between a traditional hero and a hero grid is the amount of components on the page. So here with hero grids, we're using a combination of macro and micro white space, the spacing in between elements to keep them nice and compact, but then having nice white space or breathing space around each section so that we can signpost off to different areas or bring in different types of content. For example, we could have our main hero title, a strap line to go with it, a call to action button, and then we could have a feature video in that hero unit. It all comes together in one effective area that tells a full story. So hopefully now you have an understanding of what a hero grid is. Let's jump into the Hostinger website builder and have a go at creating our own hero grid. Let's crack on. I've got a quick example here of a hero grid that I've created previously using the Hustinger website builder. This is for one of our templates that we resell on the platform called Black Ink. We can see here that it's got a background photo that goes across the full website. And we've also got three additional images. We've got our larger image that covers the full height of that hero section. We've got the smaller thumbnail image, and then we've got even smaller thumbnail image that goes across with the story. So the idea is we're trying to tell the full story of that area in one section. A couple of different photos to add entry. Some might choose to go with just one photo, but I believe this is a considerable step forward from what we used to have on websites like this, which would be a transition in rotating hero banner. We'd have a slideshow showing one photo with one message, then it would fade out and show a different photo and a different message. I feel this is a better use of space and a better way to get the message across because one bit of research we've had back from using rotating banners on websites, especially for hero units, is that the message gets lost after the first slide. Maybe 90% of people will stop and watch the first slide, and then you'll have a drop off to something like 20% on average for the second slide. And then by the time you get to the third and fourth, you're looking single figure digits. By reshaping it into a grid format, it makes it much easier to get that information across. And we can use effective white space. There's enough breathing space but also we've got the micro white space in between the title and the text here, more compact with some breathing space around it. Then the photos take care of themselves. As we roll down through the rest of the site, we keep the same flow, nice spacing around text. There's a consistency here. We've got white space here, and then we've got the banding effect that I like where we use high contrast banding to divide each section up. So it tricks the eye into reading one section at a time, and it's a way of taking a lot of content and making it look highly organized and easy to follow. And that's what we're trying to do here. But the Hero Grid just offers something a little bit different. We could recreate this effect on any page that we want. Alternatively, we could go for a simpler or indeed no Hero Unit on individual pages, depending on the flow that we're looking for. But where we've got this offset image here, there's still a tie-in to the home page, And of course, we've got the Stay in the Loop section below. So I'm going to jump across to the Hustinger website builder and we're going to use pre-made templates. And we'll see if there's any templates that already have this effect. So this one kind of has a hero grid. This one definitely does. So we can see here we've got the two images, the heading and then the offset image to the right. I think we're going to go for this one here, which is product orientated. We can see that we've got a clear striking hero and let's turn this into a hero grid. Don't quite know how I'm going to do it, but let's have some fun anyway. So this is one of the starter templates available within the Hostinger website builder. And we can see the effects in here. What I like about this website builder is it's really flexible. It's also low cost as well. Coming across from Squarespace, I just can't believe the difference in price between the two. Squarespace is definitely more feature rich, but Hostinger is catching up and it's already got a lot of features, meaning for brochureware websites, it will do the job nicely. So we've got this section in here. So one really simple way of getting a hero grid across is we could add multiple images into that hero. Traditionally, we would have it in a grid format. If you were to draw out an invisible grid, you would be able to see the grid blocks all knitting together. But we don't need to be as restrictive on that. We can be more fluid with the approach. So if I just take that back to the original aspect ratio, one thing we can do is take these components 
and put them together. Now, of course, we wouldn't have the same data showing on our image. But that's a good example of how we can increase the impact of our hero and also increase the amount of content that we're putting in there without it looking too cluttered. Another option is we could make something more of this section here. So instead of having the traditional button call to action, we could have it as a strip that goes across the bottom of our hero section. Before jumping into the next steps, I thought I'd share with you Hostinger and its wonderful hosting plans. We've got the pricing table here and even the business plan works out at £3.49 per month. And you might think that's just for one website, but that's up to 100 websites per account. From someone who's come from a Squarespace background, this is an amazing deal. We'd be looking at three to four times this price just for one hosting plan. There's also a huge feature list. So whether you want to host WordPress websites or use the Hostinger website builder, which includes an AI builder as well. If we jump into the add to the car option, we only need a 12 month contract to get the price at £3.99 per month. If we jump onto the 48 month option, we can have further savings. But if you're looking to host multiple websites for four years at £167.52, that is an amazing option, saving £552. And if you're unsure as to whether the Hustinger website builder can do what you need, our hosting a box of tricks course covers everything to get up and running with this website builder platform. Just be sure to use the Pixel Haze 10 discount code and the link in the description. That'll help us to continue to create free content. Back to the video. So I can go and add a new shape. Just get it to the right size. If it extends beyond the bottom of the hero, don't panic. We can change that afterwards. Okay, I was hoping that I could change that shape. It appears that I can't. So I misread that one. Never, never mind, we've got a couple of different options. So I'm going to send that shape to the background, and as we can see now, we've got a rectangle shape that goes into the oval call to action button. So we could either be happy with that. For me, I don't like that sharp edge on the left. So another option could mean that we put a call to action in here. And we'd put a nice big chunky call to action and if we click on it one more time we can go to edit text and we can apply a background color to the shape itself and that will allow us to apply a background directly on the text the only thing with this, again, we've got the same issue. We can't put the rounded corners on there to finish it off. And for me, that's quite important. So I'm going to remove that background and we're going to go back to the drawing board. One thing we could try as an alternative, I've never tried this before. I'm just going to use on my Mac Command Shift 4 to be able to take a color swatch. And this would be a hack if it works. And instead, we're going to add an image. And we're going to upload that image swatch. As we can see now, we've got the same effect. So by just taking a small image swatch, we've got fast loading time. And it means that that image will repeat. Now I'm wondering if I can change the style of the image and increase the corner radius. Aha, wonderful. Love it when a pan comes together. Okay, so we've got our rounded corner effect using an image of a color swatch and now we can simply bring this section to the front and the same for this text here and finally i'm just going to change that. So I could put some additional images overlaying this. So for example, some arrows, but for now, I'm just going to put chevrons in place, but they would look better if we were to have a proper arrow, maybe using a gradient effect that matches the background. I could create that in Canva or uh, Photoshop really quickly, where we go from one of the tones through to the other tone as you go through each of the colors. I could do it with the uh, chevrons here, 
But one thing I always find that they look a little bit sharp and a little bit heavy. So I could change each one of these individually. But that's a lot of work. <laughs> I changed it to the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah. So I'm just going to change it to the purple for now. A bit of work to do to get this nicely balanced and working right on the page. But now we can bring the bottom of that hero back up. And now by just making a couple of tweaks, we moved this from a traditional hero unit to a grid hero relatively easily. The final option we could go for is instead of this here, we could replace that photo with something which is more dynamic, which would be a video. So if we had a trailer video, I won't go through and change the video in this example, but we can see now that we have got a lot going on. And you may argue that it's too much now with the video, the shape of it. The video itself is quite jarring to the rest of the site. So if it was more on brand, it would look better as well. But this is how we can compact more information into our hero without it looking too cluttered. And having a more impactful call to action by dividing up our hero into a grid format. I'd recommend having a look at a number of examples. If you do a quick Google search for hero grid showcase or examples, You'll see loads of different styles and different options and also have a play around with it yourself. With Hostinger, you've got to pay for one hosting plan and then you can mess around with up to 100 websites on that option. Alternatively, you can go down the Squarespace or Works route where you can use a free trial and have a play around with this effect and, of course, many others as well. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm hoping to put together some more design trends as we move into 2024 and showcase and have a play around with it. So this is designed to be unscripted, is designed to have a play with web design without the pressure of a fast approaching deadline. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like me to cover in the next video, feel free to leave a comment and I will try my best to accommodate. I'll catch you next time.